Alright, what's up? Okay, so, alright, so a lot of you guys have been saying, yo, Dej, what's your prediction for the fight? They've been sending it to me on Twitter. I'll follow my Twitter, obviously, at Deji. So I'll be talking about the fight live when it's happening. But anyway, I wanted to make this video before the fight. So my prediction for the fight. Okay, so, I have sparred Gib before, but I sparred Gib when I was kind of beginning. And I have actually fought Jake. So, so I feel like my prediction actually has some valid points to it. Now, now, when I say my answer, don't have a go at me, don't get angry or anything, I don't want any of that, but I'm going to be just talking honestly, okay, so Jake has a bigger reach, Jake has also been doing boxing for like maybe four years, Gib has also been doing boxing for four years with uh, Vidal, but Jake having a longer reach, and Jake has very, has become accustomed to stages, and everything and he knows like he won't be nervous under pressure because he's already had that environment before and everything and don't get me wrong Gib he is a he's a very pressure fighter he goes in he, he just he just goes in but I feel like I feel like Big Gib is gonna take this come on come on now Big all right now Gib is a pressure fighter and I know Jake can't handle pressure because when I got close to Jake and he after I got close to Jake and hit him with an uppercut in our fight it was a nervous uppercut but I hit him with an uh, but I hit him with an uppercut he didn't want to get close to me at all because I have power I have a lot of power and that wasn't even a proper uppercut it was a nervous one because I was nervous throughout my whole fight a if it was a proper one I'm pretty sure I would have floored him anyway what I'm trying to say is. Jake cannot handle pressure. Jake, Jake will bleed during this fight. He will just get smoked. It's pointless for Jake. This is so dumb. The pool name is abolished. It's gone. Abolished. Finished. It's gone. Alright. That's what I'm saying. Well, in terms of fighting, of course. Obviously, they still have other ventures that they can pursue. But I'm saying in terms of boxing, they're finished. They're finished. And, if, and Jake, when you lose... Let's have a fight. I'll f I'll smoke you, bro. I'll smoke you. I'll show you why your ass. You beat me when I was nervous. Barely beat me when I was nervous. I barely had a camp. Now, if I have a, a camp, a camp that I'll stick with from the beginning, and I'm pretty sure I won't get these nerves anymore, I'll smoke you. But all, all I'm saying now, my prediction, Big Gibber takes it round three. I'm saying that now. Big Gibber takes it round three. He won't be able to handle the pressure. Gib does need to work on his defense. He can't be taking a punch. He can't be taking all these punches. I know that for a fact. These, these, this is a different ball game. No, no head guards. So Gib needs to work on his defense. Obviously, throw punches. But he, but he needs to work on his defense and not be so reckless. Because he's a, he is a very reckless fighter. That could come in his favor this fight, and it could, it could literally be his downfall. But like I said, we'll see. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Deji and at Comedy Gamer. That's my Instagram at Comedy Gamer and at Deji is my Twitter. Follow me there. I'm obviously going to be posting some things live during the fight. So guys, ah, oh, stay tuned. It's going to be a good one. Team Gib, obviously. Let's go. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel too. I haven't left this channel. Anyway, yeah. Take care. Bless. I got pussy shining cruddy for my line uh, And I try, really try, focus on my grind uh, Why they wanna watch when I ain't got the time I ain't got the time nah, nah. Calling me the lyrical one, gangster, gangster I am not a digital one, give me the rum uh, Let me be, let me feel